Bezier Warp can be found under the Distort category, and when you apply it to any layer or adjustment layer, it's going to give you this overlay with a whole lot of point controls, and you can see all of those in the effects list as well. It might be a little bit overwhelming, but they're all just point values, and it's really here just so you can keyframe it. This is a very interactive effect. Let me show you how it works. If I click and drag the top left corner, it's basically just warping the layer based on wherever I set these points. So if I grab the bottom left corner and bring all these in, we're kind of getting a spherical warp, almost like this is being bloated on a balloon. But we also have these tangents. So that's what this effect calls these handles. This is a vertex, but then we also have tangents, which is just like vector controls. These are called Bezier handles. So if I were to draw a shape layer using the pen tool, these are vector paths that use Bezier handles. So we've got the vertex right here, and we've got the tangents here. I just typically call these points and handles. Let's reset this really quickly and take a look at these tangents. If I pull these two in right here, then we're gonna just kind of squish it in while leaving these corners preserved. So if I do that on all of these tangents, then we're kind of compressing the image. So before and after. What's nice is that you can keyframe these values. So if I go to say one second and set a keyframe on all of these values and then back up to the beginning and click reset, I'll press U on my keyboard to bring up all those keyframes. You can see that now I have two keyframes for each of these. It's going to animate between those two values. And the only other control we have is a quality value, which generally only comes into play if you're making very extreme distortions. But if I turn this way down, you can see that it basically is just decreasing how accurate that mesh warp is. Right here, you can really see it. You can increase that up to 10 to get a better looking distortion. But this is a fantastic effect for making very custom and precise distortions and even animating them. But that's all there is to the Bezier warp effect. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.